but do I can buy different hoes here. Hey, what's going on, guys? Digno here, and uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the transition that you've just seen on screen. Uh, before we get into the video, however, I'd like to remind you guys to uh, to please subscribe and to please like. I'm trying to 10k uh, before Easter. I don't fucking know. Something like that. Something reasonable, I guess. Uh, so yeah, make sure to make sure to do that if you uh, if you're enjoying the video. Uh, so anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, so as you've seen, it's sort of a paper transition thing. And uh, what I've done right here is I've added some markers with uh, with some name things. So essentially, first, this is just where the paper thing is just gonna start coming up. We have this is <coughs> where the uh, the Luma dissolve starts, and this is where the Luma dissolve ends. So you're gonna want to overlap them like this, pretty much, uh, roughly like that, like 20 seconds, roughly. And uh, right here we have the uh, the paper transition as well. So it's first right here, it goes in. It starts like expanding, and then it peaks right here, and then it goes back down, and the shake impact is right here. Uh, now, this last keyframe is very important, so you're gonna want to just make sure that this is roughly lined up with the impact right here. So we have the impact, and you're just gonna go. Mm, let's say you have a dissolve right here. You're just gonna go like 13 frames away from that, and uh, just make sure that this frame is what is here. Like you want to make sure that the impact is perfectly marked uh, and then you're going to want to go to to this frame right here 13 frames away from the dissolve and just make a, uh, a new layer from there and drag it above. Uh, this is going to be our, our masking layer and what we're going to do is just right or uh, insert remove envelope right click insert remove envelope and freeze frame a cursor. I'm going to go ahead and split that and delete that one. Now we're going to drag this to the uh, the very start the first one right here. And we're going to go to our cropping tool and we are going to cut out the character. Now you can be slightly sloppy with this. I I'd recommend you still make it somewhat decent, uh, but you definitely don't have to sit here for like 15 minutes and do like some perfect shit. Just go ahead and make a rough cut out of the character. Uh, remember that you will be adding drop shadow to this as well. So uh, yeah, that's sort of why you don't need to make it completely uh, flawless. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish cutting out this mask right here. I'm going to make it a bit extra uh, sloppy because I'm not actually going to use this for a client or anything. I'm just showing you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to include the blueprint here, actually, because I don't know what else I should do. And there we go. And we got that. Now I'm going to make the second cutout in the middle right here. And right here and minus. And there we go. That is my character. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go to our uh, here starts going in and we're going to make a keyframe right here because this is where you want it to be normal and you, we're going to make it a keyframe in position, not masks. So we, go, we make sure it's normal here and we go to our first keyframe uh, and we're going to drag it down to the very corner. Uh, sort of sort of like that, I'd say. And now just go back, make sure it plays through like that and it starts going in. And now we're going to go to our peak right here and we're going to make it slightly bigger than it needs to be. Maybe like that. And uh, now we're going to go to the impact and we're going to click restore. Uh, now we're going to make this a slow fade and everything else should be as it is. So uh, now we're going to just go going to go ahead and add our drop shadow. So just, you know, video effects tab, SO underscore drop shadow and apply it to our masked thing. Uh, now, obviously, this isn't actually uh, a very good drop shadow setting. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the blur. And I'm going to go ahead and just play around with the dimensions here a bit. So um, find something that looks sort of cool, I guess. Something like, like this, I guess, is fine. Uh, I'd recommend having some blur. Uh, however, not too much because that would look a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, something like that. And there we go. Uh, just go to the impact marker and just cut out the, the character, of course. And uh, yeah, now we're going to just go, go ahead and try transitions tab and add BCC. I think it's BCC dissolve Luma. Uh, it might not be actually. It might be Sapphire. I'm going to go ahead and check. So we have uh, dissolve. Or it might be Luma dissolve, actually. Dissolve Luma. No, nope, dissolve Luma it is. So just go ahead and drag that onto your crossfade. And everything should look something like that. Uh, now, if we play this back, you might notice that our, uh, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit smooth. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just add some posterize time to this. 
uh, we see pulsarized time right there. Just go ahead and drag that onto the uh, the thing, and we're gonna make the frame separation three. So if we do that and we play it back, uh, just like that. Uh, on second thought, maybe we shouldn't make this a slow fade. I think we should just make this linear. Uh, I think that might be a bit better. Uh, so yeah, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and just add the impact on this frame right here. So uh, I probably have a beat impact somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. You're gonna have to, you know, add the, the impact yourself and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's, that's decent, I think. But yeah, pretty anyway, that's pretty much the entire transition. Uh, it looks very, very cool, actually. And, you know, it, it can be used on pretty much any clip. Uh, but I would recommend that you make sure that the the character is visible on this frame when you're uh, when before you start making the transition, because otherwise you can end up with just having to do this with like a fucking hat or something. And that would obviously not be ideal. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You can add a bunch of extra effects. You can add like cartoon cartoon look or some shit to your to your mask. Uh, which is what the people used to do with the LMGK transition. Uh, and, you know, that could look quite cool. Uh, but, yeah, you, you can do you can do a bunch of shit, really. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.